each one of us is facing different battles every day. As COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect the general public in terms of physical health, mental health, and socioeconomic stability, a lot of children at school age in public school from underprivileged families also continue to suffer malnutrition brought about by the current pandemic situation. With this, there's a felt need to immediately address this current problem affecting the children's academic performances and school. The government through the DepEd's collaborative effort, together with different stakeholders, continue to implement its goal-based training program to identify its goal in mitigating malnutrition problems. Just join us today as we take you virtually to Severo the 30 Memorial Elementary School's school-based training program for the school year 2020-2021. The school-based feeding program complies with the DepEd Order No. 23, Series of 2020, which shall maintain its commitment to provide good nutrition to learners amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. As we are facing a grave health threat due to COVID-19, the school-based feeding program for school year 2020-2021 continues to serve all severely wasted and wasted kindergarten, grade 1 to grade 6 pupils in public schools. The program aims to address hunger and encourage learners to enroll, contribute to the improvement of their nutritional status, provide nourishment for their growth and development, and help boost their immune system and enhance and improve their health and nutritional values. We will be showcasing vital aspects of the school-based feeding program implementation in our school as to before, during, and after for the school year 2020-2021. Before the program implementation, the school strictly adheres to IETF health protocol standards whereby signages in observing health safety measures are designated in conspicuous places to guide parents picking up modules and food packs for their children. Imperature checkups and alcohol dispensers were also stationed at the entrance of the gate. Hand washing facilities. And school were also made functional to teach parents and learners the importance of hand washing with antibacterial soap to avoid contracting COVID-19. SBFP committee under the leadership of the school principal, school nurse, and school-based feeding program coordinator had also made their great share for an organized and smooth implementation of SBFP. Their involvement is so vital for the success of the program. Now, let's take a look at how the SBFP committee chair managed to implement the program through this energy. Good day, everyone. Deep Ed is very much responsive to the needs of our school children in terms of their health status. Severo Duterte Memorial Elementary School has 261 wasted and severely wasted learners and 296 recipients in the 2020 MELT field. Despite this pandemic, we find ways and means to cater them these learners and get solutions on how to reach them out. At first, the parents of the recipients are called for an orientation in school following the proper health protocol. They are instructed for the schedule of claiming the food packs and the dry ration and the milk feeding. It was done successfully through the proper management of the school feeding coordinator. There are significant feedback from the parents about the program and they are looking forward for another implementation this school year. Thank you. To identify the school-based feeding program beneficiaries for the school year 2020-2021 in this time of pandemic, 
the school-based feeding program committee chair, as well as its members, then considered the previous school feeding program beneficiaries for the grade level advisors had conducted height and weight measurement to properly identify learners who are wasted and severely wasted based on the result of their body mass index. To observe the minimum health protocol standards issued by the IATF in this time of pandemic, the school-based feeding program focal person through the school principal and with the involvement of teaching and non-teaching staff had conducted an orientation of the parents whose children are beneficiaries of the SBFP under the new normal implementation of the program. During the program implementation, the parents, together with their children as SBFP beneficiaries, had shown so much support by coming to school on the days of distribution of food packs and milk that led to the success of the program. Every Wednesday of the week since the SBFP started in this time of pandemic, parents of SBFP beneficiaries excitingly came to school with joy in their hearts for the support given by the government through the Department of Education for promoting advocacy in having a nutritious and healthy diet that would totally lessen if could not eradicate the cases of malnutrition amongst children in public schools which affects the learner's ability to learn. After the school succeeded, the school-based feeding program implementation for the school year 2020-2021, several heartwarming stories are being shared by parents and their child regarding the effect of the school feeding program. Kay kini nakatabang sa sa paghimsog sa akong panlawas sabi na sa panahon sa COVID. Ang sa mga kaya story sa feeding program sa eskwilahan. Lamig siya, kaya sa nindot ang pagkato magana sa pagkaon. Nalipat ko ang nagpasalamat kay sa pandemic nagapunik ayohan na gi pahigayon na mo. Kasulti ni mo bahin sa feeding program sa eskwalahan. Makasalamat ng kalyo po sa feeding program sa eskwalahan. Dako ay yung tapang sa mga aming panglawas ang mga pagkaun o ang gatas pahel. Nagang salamat. This is program case sa grade 6 theory sa sigero kote. Malipay ko ang ako ng mga isang na naapil ni sa feeding. Tungod ni ini at sik ni buhat sa kanang dibuhat ko sa eskwilahan. O duna pakinigatas na makatabang sa maayong na pagkatulog. Maayong buntag! Para nako na sa kainahan, ang feeding program dako kaayong sabang sa ilang gipang hatag na mga pagkaon sa among mga anak, dako kaayong mga tabang. Dako kaayong kalipay sa among mga bata sa mga feeding na among nadala gikan sa eskwilahan. Labi na katong milk na gipang hatag, ganahan kaayo akong mga anak sa gatas. Maong lipay po dito, usa ka inahan na naay feeding program. Daghang salamat. Ako si Celestial Magallanes. Inahan ni Mike Sebastian Magallanes nga nag-skwila sa Severo Duterte Memorial Elementary School. Isa sa mga nakabenepisyo sa feeding program sa DepEd. Dako na mong pasalamat sa feeding program kay tungod ni ini ah uh, himsog og nitambok og samot ang among mga bata og nilis kay maayo og nibibo pud sila
uh, maikay ang ilahang pagkuhan sa ilang mga module, mga na sila tabaho sila mga activity tungod ni ini. And for the most vital person in school-based feeding program implementation, the school feeding coordinator for her valuable effort and support as well as in managing the entire flow of the program from baseline to endline with this interview. Good day everyone. I am Ophelin Rega M. Riam Bonanza, the SBFP coordinator of Severo Duterte Memorial Elementary School, 28 years of age and 5 years in service. 3 years of service as SBFP coordinator. I was really shocked, trembled with unprepared feelings of saying yes or no to my principal when SBFP coordinatorship was assigned to me because I was just a new teacher then, coming from a mountain school with few total number of pupils and just landed at Severo Duterte Memorial Elementary School as my new station. The biggest question in my head with the quote was, Nganong ako? Nga dili gani ko kahibaw mangumpra sa merkado. Wa gani ko kahibaw sa presyo sa mga gulay o karne. At age of 25, I became strong because I knew that I carried one of the heaviest crown as coordinator. As an SBFP coordinator in a big school like Severo Duterte, I could proudly say that there were a lot of problems I encountered. From the making of Project Management Procurement Plan or PPMP, Work in Financial Plan WFP, the decision of choosing the cycle menu, the everyday struggle of going to school first and probably the last person to time out due to lots of preparation for every day's feeding program just to ensure a smooth flow of our daily undertakings. I continued because it made me a whole person, seeing those kids who happily took every menu being served to them melted my heart. All efforts were paid off. I surpassed all of these together with the people behind my back who kept on telling me that I can do the assigned task easily. It takes a village to raise a child. Hence, Every learner's health greatly affects their way of learning. And with this, we have totally endeavored ourselves through our commitment and collaborative effort to make the school-based feeding program implementation for the school year 2020-2021 successful. Thank you.